Well, hello everybody. Bug Eater 64 here and we're getting ready to do a flight in the PMDG DC-6B as in Bravo. Anyway, we're going to be taking off from uh, Chicago O'Hare and uh, be landing at uh, Boston K-Boss. And uh, it's about 700 and 36, 740 mile flight, and uh, so it's just a, you know, warm-up jump for the old DC-6, which has a range of over 4,000 miles. But uh, the weather's going to be scattered. Uh, don't know if we're going to see rain or not, uh, but uh, we're going to take, use uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, get in our DC-6, and head that way. So, let's get in the cockpit and let's get going. See you inside. All right, welcome to Chicago O'Hare and the Douglas DC-6. So, let's see about getting our girl ready to go so we can get off to Boston K-Boss. So, here we go. Let's first check our fuel. We're going to need about a little, oh, about 11,000 pounds today for this flight, which is uh, just about 750 miles. So let's see how things go here. There we go. That'll be good enough. 11,535 pounds of fuel. We, if everything goes well, we'll probably use about 9,000, just under 10,000 pounds. All right, and then we're going to have uh, 51 passengers on board. So, with that, let's check here. And everything looks ready to go. All right, let's go ahead and uh, start getting her set up. Closed. Door warning lights. Out. Gear pins. Removed. Three on board. Seat belts and pedals. Adjusted. Throttles. Set to idle. Propellers. Forward and three. Start checks complete. Start engines. Alrighty, alright, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and get alignment for the satellites so we can navigate and we'll check our flight plan. But let's go ahead and start engines. So, uh, magnetos to both, everything looks good. Three. Six, nine, twelve. Okay. All right. Engine three starting up. Okay. Looks like we've got a good engine start on engine three. Let's go ahead and set up for engine four.
Mixture to auto rich. Magnetos to both. Engine selector four. Fuel pumps to low and start. Three, six. Nine. Twelve. Okay, flight plan's looking good. Reloaded. So, engine two, let's go ahead. So we've got three good engines now. So engine one mixture to auto rich. Four good engines. So they're warming up. That. We'll get our after start checklist going here. Good to go. So let's get going here. Pushback was not working. Could not get it to work. So just gonna have to turn her around. Okay, we're going to have scattered clouds probably all the way to Boston, so we'll see how this goes. Ground 
Fuck Eater, 646, with India ready to taxi, IFR. Fuck Eater, 646, taxi, to an hold short of runway 28 right via taxiway Victor 5 Yankee. Contact tower on 128.15 when ready. Taxiing hold short runway 28 right via taxiway Victor 5 Yankee Bug Eater 646. out here to runway 28 left. here <clears throat> close to the hole short and set up our before takeoff. Tower Buckeater, 646, ready for IFR departure runway 28 right. Let's get that checklist. Buckeater 646, altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2 wing 274 at 5. Cleared for takeoff runway 28 right. Cleared for takeoff runway 28 right by Geeter 646. First pumps on low. Fuel selector and crossfeed. Main tanks and crossfeed off. Autopilot and car beat. Off and cold. Hydraulic system. Down, forward, pressure and quantity checked. Okay. Flaps 20. Okay, flaps coming down to 20. Flaps set to 20. Windows of turbine. Closed and on. Controls. Dust lock released. Free. Better heater. On. Mixture and cow flaps. Bridge and locked. Set. Transponder. On. Landing lights. Extended and on. Before takeoff checks complete. Alright, so let's uh, get ready and move out here onto the runway. Engines are all looking good. OK, 
Okay, brake released. Let's move. Try and take off. Three inches stabilize. Three inches stabilize. Three inches stabilized. Kill flaps. Kill flaps. Kill flaps set. Full power, please. Going full power. set to about a thousand feet a minute. We're on our way to about 12,000 feet. Very good.
at about 11,800 feet <clears throat> and uh, just kind of put us between the clouds. So. It's been a very uneventful flight so far. And we should... Uh, so we've descended now and we're on approach into... Austin and KBOS. Very uneventful flight so far, so no complaints yet. Just over 3,000 feet, about 3,200 feet right now. Getting ready to turn on to approach. So we'll be making a left turn onto approach vector. Put us probably about 12 miles away from touchdown.
problem here with the autopilot again, which happens. So we're going to turn it off, turn it back on, see if it'll lock on. And it's not, we're not getting any reaction out of it. Okay, so I have the aircraft. It would not turn on to my approach vector. Let's give it another shot here. Okay, it's locked on, but what has it locked on to? Okay. So we're hand flying this bad boy right now. So, we are on approach. The optimum way to land a DC-6 is it's got the tricycle gear and you want to do basically a three-point landing as much as possible so that you almost land all the tires touching the ground at the same time. So let's see if we can do that. I don't do that very often, but let's see if we can do that today. Yeah, it should be approaching a runway three three left. Flaps twenty. Setting flaps twenty. Okay, and flaps are coming down. Mr. 
set. Gear up and down, please. Gear up and down. the nose gear just a hair too much but vertical speed 758 side slip 0.3 646 contact decimal 9 or bug eater 646 goodbye not a good landing it shouldn't be bouncing like that that's the second time I've had bounces like that My actual touchdown speed uh, officially was minus 171. So. But we're down, we're safe. Mission completed. Alright then, well, there you have it. And uh, not a great landing. Not a great landing. Although my touchdown was uh, minus 171, which is not that bad with a big aircraft. Uh, like I said, your landing in the DC-6 is supposed to be pretty close to a three-point landing uh, with... Uh, the tricycle wheel all touching the ground about the same time. I missed that by a hair. Uh, it was very very close but it still doesn't tell me uh, why uh, I had such heavy bouncing. Um, so you know I'm gonna take responsibility for that. It's probably on me. Uh, 
surprising, but uh, we'll see how it goes in the next one. But uh, right now, the, the flight went well. Uh, the flight itself was very uneventful until we got towards approach, in which case uh, the autopilot seemed to not want to pick up the approach vectors. Um, so we had to hand fly it in, which for the DC-6 is not a re real problem. She handles very, very well. Great fun to fly. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. And not a great landing, but an outstanding flight in my mind. And with that, I sure hope you enjoyed it. I know I had a lot of fun bringing it to you. So until next time, this is Bug Eater 64 And as always, remember... Safe flying!